We are here in Berlin for the second edition of Magi Art Residency at the Bogen. The residency program is planned for 10 years and the first edition took place in Venice last year. Both editions we had venues close to the water and I think that resonates the name of the residency which is Magi and means boatman in Bengali. The purpose of the residency is to create a platform for artists from the global south to explore their practices in Europe. For three weeks we have worked together with seven artists here. We had five discussion rounds with fellow artists and collectives that came as guests. And everything was around this initial question, how to shape a society of care on kinship in multiple homes. It's also about cultural exchange. So in every edition there are also European artists, European-based artists. Because of COVID-19, of course, traveling was not possible. So I tried to make a combination of artists close to Berlin that have a diasporic background experience and can bring in all these different notions of home. I came from Thailand. I lived in the Netherlands for the past nine years. And I'm still like in the mode of trying to think about my own position, being an artist, being a woman in this part of the world. I'm an American artist and I've been living in Berlin for 10 years. And to be American means being situated in histories of slavery, settler colonialism and genocide. And so it's from that position that I look at global colonial projects and how these projects continue to influence our lives today. It was really like this pressure cooker. And out of that came this exhibition, which we see as an open studio. The artists really invite the audience to their works, but also to the exchanges they made with each other. The whole project is very much about social organization. So we're coming together and sharing ideas. The works are all quite intimate. So you really get into their personal memories, but also their ideas on home. This is my home for two weeks now. So you can always be somewhere and consider this place as your home. I like the idea that the sculpture is not settled at one place. So you can take it with the wheels and put it somewhere else. A lot of works here are about release, rehabilitation, and also about rebuilding and regrowing. I was always interested in visualizing time. I start to stack everything that touches my life somehow, not only works of art, also trivial objects. And I'm always interested in how to create a unit out of things that would never have become a unit. I love to see the story in the cities. Then I bring that to share in the art space. So for this, I pick three photographs from my archive that I took in Sri Lanka and Germany. I'm drawing on the top of the photograph is a kind of narrative on building, guarding and protecting. I had actually a lot of conversations about labor. I hire digital workers which are offering their labor through the internet to produce with me a sci-fi movie. And the story goes like this, that workers from all over the world think about how they can reach a utopian society. And it was really interesting to have these ideas from China, Nigeria, Tunisia, India. Artists also go into the past, take things to the future, take things to the present and try to transform memories or bring back agency to subjects that were treated as objects. I'm working on a project that deals with a 1901 German anthropology book on the topic of the racial beauty of women. I'm cutting the book apart and making a series of paintings where I take images of women that are coming from outside of Europe and giving them a kind of modern identity that's very different than what the book gave them. The whole project is really about a kind of recovery of their humanity. My contribution to the exhibition is a short video of work, a family video footage that I just found last time I went back to Thailand in combination with a documentary about Thai artists who lives in Amsterdam and also the, the footage that I'm filming myself in Berlin now. As an art maker, you not only make work that is personal to you or subjective to you. Being a person from somewhere else living here, I found that it's part of my own contribution of what I can give to, to the landscape. We hope that the artists take away with them the shared experience that they had here in the residency and that they found a platform for debate, discussion and exchange. The outcome is actually also about taking matters in, in our own hands as persons, as artists. I'm interested in thinking about care in terms of a political project, in terms of solidarity, and thinking about how to care about also people that aren't part of your own identity group. 
specifically in these times we realize that it's like really necessary to think about how we want to live and how we can support each other. Art is international and to insert the non-Western discourses, I see it as a way of sharing. In an intense time like this, an ongoing discussion about these topics feeds then in an in a artistic practice, works or ideas.